The Flow WMS app connects to Magaya supply chain so you can receive and manage cargo and items from your smartphone. This video will show you how to configure system-wide settings in Magaya and how to grant access to employees for the Flow WMS app. We'll also cover how these settings impact receiving, printing labels, and more for app users. Let's get started. You will need to conduct the following steps on your server computer. To configure Flow WMS settings in Magaya supply chain, go to Maintenance, Configuration, Flow WMS. This will bring you to the configuration screen for the app. Settings on this screen are system-wide. What you configure here will apply to all employees who use the app. First, we'll cover settings in the General tab. Enable this option to create pallets in the Flow WMS app. Pallets you create in the app will display in the Magaya Warehouse Inspector, in the location you assign to the pallet. You can use this field, New Pallets Default Package Type, to set a default package type for pallets you create using the app. This setting is optional. To format pallet IDs, enter information in these fields. These fields only apply to pallet IDs printed from your Magaya system. A label printed from the Flow WMS app will have its own format, separate from what you create here. Now, let's go over settings for handling unrecognized barcodes. These are barcodes you scan with the app that are not defined as part numbers in your Magaya system. Select from one of the three settings to choose how your system will process unrecognized barcodes. If the first option is selected, your system will save all items you receive with the app. Any unrecognized barcodes will be saved to Magaya as a tracking number on the commodity. This option is ideal if you're a freight forwarder who manages cargo with tracking numbers instead of part numbers. The second option will not save unrecognized barcodes. Instead, the system will alert you when an unrecognized barcode is scanned before discarding it. You might prefer this option if you are a 3PL who only works with defined part numbers in your inventory item definitions list. If you use option 2 but want to receive an item without changing your system's configuration, go to your Magaya system and add the part number to your inventory item definitions list. Then, scan the item again to receive it. The third option asks if a new item should be created when an unrecognized barcode is scanned with the Flow WMS app. There are two choices. Selecting Accept will create the item in the warehouse receipt and save the item tracking number on the Tracking Number tab of the commodity. The app will not create the item in the list of inventory item definitions. Selecting Cancel will not create the item. How you decide to handle unrecognized barcodes depends on your operations. Now, let's go back to our configuration screen in Magaya. Click the Units tab to set units and decimal places for transactions done by the Flow WMS app. The units and decimal places configured here will apply to all app users. The units will also appear in the App Settings menu, but they can only be changed from the Magaya Supply Chain Configuration menu, not in the app. Go to the Printers tab to configure a list of label printers that users can select from the app when printing labels. To add a new printer to this list, click the Add button and enter details. The list of printers available in the Select Printer field is determined by your printer list on the Windows registry. You can also edit and delete printers from the list. Click Save to confirm changes. Did you know you can also customize labels used by the app? See our knowledge base for more information. Now you know how to configure system-wide settings for the Flow WMS app. See the other videos in this series for more information on receiving in the app. Thanks for watching.